No longer in charge of forecasting, Evelyn Cusack has packed up her office after 42 years working in Met Erin. As it changed, I mean, I don't even know how we did it in 1982 when I started on the bench. I mean, we didn't really have satellites. I mean, we didn't have the internet. I know you young people say, you didn't have the internet. We used, to, we, not quite Morse code, it wasn't quite that far back, but uh, we used to get um, charts in on electrostatic paper and like, it would take half an hour for a few charts to come in, you know. Good evening. I hope you're enjoying the fine weather as there is more on the way. She presented the weather forecast on August. RTE for 30 years before being promoted to head of forecasting in 2017. She remembers a very busy first year, spending a lot of time at the National Emergency Coordination Centre, briefing on Storm Ophelia, followed months later by Storm Emma and the Beast from the East. So then, ah, oh, look forward to a nice summer. But we did get a nice summer. In fact, it was too nice because we got a drought and then Bray started to go on fire. And we were in the NECG again because there was a water shortage. So I thought, that's it now, that's it. But there was one more little sting in the tail as we're down in the ploughing championships in September. Forecasts of strong wind forced her to recommend cancelling the ploughing. Thankfully for me, just professionally, uh, the winds whipped up and it was flattened. So, you know, so that was the, what a year. I said, how, this is only year one. What, am, what have I let myself in for? After launching a new mountain weather app today, Evelyn Cusack retired, hoping she too will have more time to hike. Diane Connor, RTE News. That's it for me. A very good night to you.